Today we're going to be replacing the factory bulbs in my wife's 2011 Nissan Altima. For whatever reason, the factory bulbs in my wife's Altima are just horrible. They do not provide near what I would consider a safe amount of light to drive at night, especially if you cannot use your high beams because there's traffic coming in the other direction. The high beams work perfectly fine, low beams do almost nothing. So to try to remedy that, we're going to be replacing the factory bulbs with these Supernova V4s. I know that the Supernova V3s got really, really good reviews and performed very well in comparison test. So I'm excited to try out these V4s. Normally, this isn't something I do on this channel simply because the BMW had great lights, the 350Z had great lights, and the Mini has great lights. So it hasn't been an issue for me, but with the Altima, we have an opportunity to test this out. And so this is my first venture into LED replacement bulbs. These are definitely expensive bulbs, or at least in my mind they are. They're about $130 for the set, but from all the reviews that I read and research that I did, everyone said they are worth the money, and cheap bulbs just aren't. Especially with projectors, where you're trying to get a specific pattern out of the light bulb for the housing to work properly so you're not blinding other drivers and you're getting a good safe light pattern for you to see the road ahead. So here is the factory bulb. As you can see, it's just a standard halogen bulb, pretty simple, gets the job done in most cases, but for whatever reason, it is not adequate in this application. And this is our replacement. You can see keeping with the projector housing, we have a block off on the front. The light is not going directly forwards. It is shining sideways so that the projector can direct it properly. Now, because it's an LED and it produces a lot of heat, you have an actual fan at the back. This large aluminum heat sink, and of course the ballast which is attached to it. Now if you have to run this through some sort of housing, like your entire light is contained, you can disconnect it right here using this little threaded bit. It has a nice weatherproof seal in here, you can disconnect this and then slide it through a smaller hole in the back of your headlight housing and then reconnect it, tighten everything back up, and the ballast can live outside of the headlight because it is weatherproof. Now on the Altima, this just hooks that into the back of the headlight and all of this will be outside, but it's not the issue because it is well sealed. I've already tested the other one on the car and this fan does come on. It's very quiet. You can barely even tell it's there. With the engine running, you can't hear it at all, but it is working and keeping the light cool so it'll last a long time. So what we're gonna do now is I have one of these headlights in the car and I have one of the factory lights. So we're gonna go compare them and see just how much brighter this light is and how much better it works. And then after that, we're gonna put this second one in and we're gonna see how much better it is actually driving the car with two proper LED headlights in. So obviously on the right side of the screen, we have the new LED light and on the left side of the screen, we have the old halogen. You can see both of them are at about the same height so they should be aimed properly. My driveway slopes a little bit down so they're gonna aim a little higher than they normally would. So first I'm gonna step in front of the LED bulb to show you how dark it gets. So fully blocking the LED bulb, you can see just how dark everything is. You can barely see anything out here. It is way, way, way dimmer than it was before. But now moving to the other side and blocking the halogen, the light out here barely changes. So you can see just how little a difference it made by blocking the halogen. Halogen, no halogen. Halogen, no halogen. So obviously I am losing some light on the left hand side, but the overall brightness really doesn't change that much. So the LEDs make a huge difference. Do one more time blocking the LED and it gets really dark. So we're gonna pop the other LED in just to show how big a difference it makes between both LEDs and both halogens. Here we have both halogens. I'm not sure how well it's coming through on camera. It is much, much dimmer out here. You cannot see nearly as much. It's just not as bright a light. So both halogens, and now we're gonna to switch to both LEDs to see just how big a difference it makes. I really hope it's coming through on camera just how bright it is out here now. There's just so much more detail in everything I can see in front of a car. Everything is very bright, very clear, and this is gonna make a much safer driving experience for my wife. So I'm gonna go on a quick test drive just to see how it works out on the road, see how well everything is lit. But if this is anything to go by, I am very happy with this purchase. I know you guys don't have anything to compare this to like I do. I've driven her car many times, so I can tell this is so much brighter. I can see things very clear. I can see things out in front of me with some distance and some clarity. I have a safe field of view. So even though we're in a neighborhood and it does have pretty good lighting already, 
There are some dark spots. There are some places that I would like to be brighter than they are. And the headlights are doing a great job of taking care of that. This is a good area where there's a lot of trees and everything is blocking out most of the ambient light. And I can still see very clearly the road in front of me. So yes, normally I would just use my brights in an area like this, but sometimes that's not an option if there's oncoming traffic. So it is nice to have good headlights that are going to take care of you no matter what situation you're in. So like the stretch in front of us, there went a raccoon. And I could see that very, very clearly. I saw it run across the road. That could have been a dog. That could have been anything. And it was lit up clear as day. I saw it before it came in front of the car. And I could see it well after it came out of a car. So there's a very wide path of light. And it's very bright all the way to the edges. A very sharp, clean edge. And it's not going to be blinding people like some of the aftermarket options that are a little bit cheaper and not properly designed for the projector housing. So overall, I am extremely pleased with these. I know you guys don't have a good before and after because you haven't been dri because you haven't had to drive this car as many times as I have, but I can promise you this is so much brighter. I can see that fence line back there. I can see around the turn a little bit, whereas before I couldn't even see the other side of the intersection. So these have made a huge difference. I am very happy with them. And for anyone out there who is considering them, I can recommend them no problem. So like always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week.